Hello? I changed my mind. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Remember like a year ago when I said a really good time to go is like the third week of October? Yeah. Because the winds yeah. kind of switched from the north. You're and right. We might get a little tailwind. <laughs> yeah. If we can't get a tailwind today, we're never going to get one. This is like, this is insane. So we're riding our bikes from Michigan all the way down to Florida. Something about suffering. I think there's something really awesome about suffering. Bill likes this idea of suffering. Because that's what you remember. And I need friends with better ideas. There's so many good people in this country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ice it, take some ibuprofen, and uh, I'm gonna keep riding the bike. Oh, come on. I gotta get back on the bike. Oh, that's too funny. Good ride, gentlemen. God bless you. Thank you. I really love a pull through because <laughs> I'm kind of a mediocre backer up. <laughs> so many pieces to this bike. Okay, sitting over there ready. And driving is so good. I imagine you're getting kind of the hang of it now. I'm totally getting the hang of it. Yeah. And I'm not giving it back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're hooking up. We're hooking up. We're getting ready to get out of here. We're going to be repositioning ourselves down to New Buffalo. Uh, that's still in Michigan, but it's right along the lake. That way we can start tomorrow morning with our back tire at Lake Michigan. And if all goes to plan, we'll finish in Pensacola and put our front tire in the golf. But before we take off, I had a chance to catch up with all the Cooper girls, because they're all home for fall break. And I had a, a chance to ask them, what do you think, what are the chances that your dad can finish this? I think he's gonna finish because he's told everyone that he's gonna do it and he's uh -huh. gonna be so embarrassed he wants to finish it. Yeah. But you're worried for him? I'm a little worried for him. <laughs> that's I mean, good. he's that's... like 60, so. <laughs> That's a lot. 61. 61. Next month. I think he's gonna be really struggling with his um, self image if he can't do the whole thing. That's what Maggie said. So you think he's gonna finish? I think he's determined enough to do it. Determined enough to do it. I think he is. Alright, there you have it. I said my kids believe in me more than I believe in me. <laughs> absolutely not. Like, absolutely not. The knees, the pickle juice, there's nothing. Nothing Explain to everyone happen. about the pickle juice. What's the pickle so juice? So he gets like leg spasms. This is like oversharing. <laughs> so he gets leg spasms yeah. and the pickle juice like allegedly like helps the spasms. Allegedly, not yeah. Allegedly. So we'll see how this works. We'll see. How so where are you? If you had to give a percentage to it, what would it be? Like how far? Like a Like he gave me a 4% chance of finishing the steak. Oh. I'd give him maybe a 6. I think you're going to really lose your will to do it <laughs> after about halfway through. <laughs> That was Bill suggesting that I would lose my will eating a free 72 ounce steak. Well, in that case, he was right. The only thing free about that steak were the t-shirts. It does beg the question, which is easier, eating 72 ounces of steak or riding your bike from Michigan down to Florida? And will we lose our will? But first, let's talk about the route. We're using Adventure Cycling Association routes. Now they have routes that go all over the country, uh, which is great for those that are looking for long distance bike riding. They're gonna pick routes that have bike lanes and bike paths to make it uh, fun and safe. The route that we took was referred to as the Underground Railroad, and it went somewhere north of Cincinnati all the way down to Mobile, Alabama, and we intersected with it in Louisville. So from New Buffalo down to Louisville, we actually used the US bicycle route system, and we took the US 35 which was amazing. But the big props to the US bicycle system, Route 35, it's, it's amazing. The best part about these routes is that you're able to export them as files and we had turn by turn directions right in our Garmin. This is my main screen here, which gives me distance, average speed, speed, current speed, distance to the next turn, how long we've been on the bike, the heading and the time of day. But if I wanna start the day to find a course, I strike from the top, I hit find a course, I've got three loaded, I just deleted Indiana. There's no need to be on there. This is the one we're looking for right here. Go ahead and click that. It'll give us an overview of the segment. The segment is from right where, oh, okay, the segment is actually from up in Cincinnati 
we're currently right here because we came down from Indiana like that. So we're intersecting this course right about there. The entire course segment is 21,000 feet of climbing. Just in this segment. Isn't that crazy? I thought it was supposed to be downhill to Florida, but I guess not. So won't be all of that though because we're starting halfway. So then I'll hit ride and it'll say, do you want navigation to the beginning of the course? And I'll say yes. And then it'll, it'll start calculating and it'll give us directions to the course. And then once we're on the course, it'll give us turn by turn directions all the way to the end. That's pretty snazzy. Wendy and I are playing Team SAG. If you don't know what that stands for, it's supplies and gear. I'm gonna be in the trusty Airstream pulled by the truck and thanks to Gretsch RV, they provided Bill and Wendy with a beautiful Gretsch Strata Ion. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> <For> you. <laughs> Look, you're so Come on. You bought a rug? This Class B van is a Gretsch Strata Ion. Ion for lithium ion, and it has a lot of that. 1260 amp hours to be specific. The Strata Ion comes in two different floor plans the lounge plan and the tour plan. Because Bill and Wendy are not avid RVers, we wanted them to have an RV that Wendy felt comfortable driving, was nimble for supporting the ride, and easy to operate when dry camping. For this particular adventure, the Gretsch checked every box, and we were all impressed. What do you think, Kayla? This is awesome. First off, the seats. Oh, I know. What I is mean, it like a synthetic leather? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's memory foam. Wendy's a boat, though, so this I'm is, just like. This is Wendy's ride. Wow. I'm a good driver. You know, <laughs> it's a very sophisticated vehicle, but it's very everything is very easy to operate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll go through it and Great. make sure that you're comfortable. Yeah, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I mean, I grew up camping in a 10-man army tent. She's got four this will be this will be a little. This like, is amazing. This is an upgrade for sure. Yeah. Just a bit. Hey, wow. the fridge. I don't even know That's how to. Seven, I don't even know how any anything works. Seven, I, I, it might be locked. Oh, there's a nice size microwave here. Look at it. Yeah, that's wow. nice. Um, wow. So you set up one, depending on who's driving. Yes. One for the husband or wife. Yes. Two, you know, one and two. Uh -huh. And then three, you set it up so that it automatically gets to in a position where you can turn it around. Oh, that's great. That way you're not scrolling. struggling. Okay. Yes. It's a little trick of the trade. I'm already finding so many fun <laughs> things, okay? The pantry space is insane. Uh -huh. This, okay, there's your fridge. Yeah. There's a little mini freezer up here. Mm -hmm. This is a beverage drawer. Oh, I didn't Let me see. Okay. Oh, just for drinks. Just for drinks. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that fabulous? Yeah, this is an electric fridge, and uh, it's got 1,200 amp hours of lithium battery. I'm just impressed with the space. These yeah. are all containers. I all saw that. Fridge. I know. I know. I mean, they're going to have space for everything. Yeah. Oh, here's Bill. So this is super fancy. Yeah. You look good in it. It looks good. She, she, it looks good on her. <laughs> it does. It, it does. Wow. Oh, yeah. Jeff, Bill. Bill. You know like those old Oldsmobile station wagons where you got the seat in the way back and you face oh, yeah, and you backwards? Look out. That's like Bill and Wendy right now. <laughs> are they like, where <laughs> yeah. do we go next, Mom? <laughs> How are the kids back here? We're having fun. We're playing with all the so boys. Cool. Yeah. I didn't know empty nesters, because you're new empty nesters. I didn't know empty nesters could, could actually look like children. <laughs> I can look like a child doing this mud anyway. <laughs> You should see me in church. <laughs> so is this uh, if, the, if the bed's not up? Is this is this where we're gonna whoop your butt in euchre? It's Mark streaming. <laughs> I mean, I like thing, it. Yeah. Our only motto is if the vans are rocking. <laughs> How do you make the bed go down? <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead. Goes down. Okay, so we're at the moment of truth now. Wendy is going to drive the Gretsch around. Right. Bill's very eager for her to drive. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you people doing? Hello. Oh. oh, I like what you've done with the place. 
Nice. Here, here, I'll close it for you, lover. Okay. Wow, the, the van effect is working already. <laughs> it's got that new van smell. <laughs> You did well. I just love it. I love it. She is in heaven. It is, this is great. I mean, I really thought it was going to be more like driving no, it's, something big. It's like driving a Suburban. And it, it feels like I'm driving Bill's Tahoe, yeah. but yeah. just a little bit longer. That's right. So it's so just nice. a... Yeah. What are you guys doing in here? Oh, we're checking out how spacious this is. It's I, so, it holds so much. Oh yeah? Yeah, I oh, mean for two good. people, it's it's more than, I mean it's plenty of room. Yeah. And look at this little drink cooler down here. It even holds an open bottle of wine in here. Oh nice. Yeah. Oh, the, sitting straight up? Yeah, sitting up. Look how deep awesome. that is. I like it, you've yeah. made the place very fall. Fall festive, decorative <laughs> already. That didn't take you any time at all. It's Trisha's idea. I Was gotta it? take this, yes. <laughs> oh my girl. Oh, so yeah, it's yeah, kind of it's looking. And then we did put you the added in... carpet. You had a carpet. Yeah, I, I we had a little like remnant old. from Grace's dorm room. So Bill cut a piece off of it before we took her to college. And it it's kind of cozy here. and warm. It was made for this. It's yeah. the perfect size. Yeah, like yeah. when we cut it, it was with this yeah. in mind. But it's, it's and then uh, you got. I noticed you got some things up here. You got storage up here, plates and things. Yes. And you yeah. think you have enough room for all your clothes back there? My clothes are all in. They are. Here, look. I just needed one. Compartment. Oh, right there. One? Just one? Just that one? Just that one. Oh, I have a couple coats up front. Bill's gonna put his in here. His isn't here yet. And we have bedding up here. Okay. Bedding. Nice. And then this closet. Right oh, there's here. a whole nother closet. Yeah. So these are for the hanging. Clothes. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, and I bought these. Oh my gosh, that's great. So Bill's gonna come move his stuff in. Where did I, you get those? I got these at Walmart. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So he's, he can have these two, and then I just put my jammies and stuff down here. Oh, wow. It works okay. great. You're pro. I mean, you yeah. you wouldn't think there'd be this much once you start putting stuff in. Like, yeah. there's this much room. Yeah. yeah. So it's good. All right. Wow. I like it a lot. Hey, Trish, before you go over there, check this out. Isn't that cool? This wow. little pivot thing. I want to cover all this, but this is the Kuat pivot. And then look at Click. Click. And then... Um, and then this is the Sherpa 2, which I love. Yes, we do love this. But this is fabulous for um, having a door right there. Look how easy that is. Isn't I mean, that obviously there's no bikes on here right now, but it will be just I don't as think smooth. It, I think so, yeah. And then you, yeah, you can open it up right there. I think you can. Um, and look, it goes right, it goes right over Boom. there. Right over. Isn't that no, awesome? No problemo. Look at that. That's great. Trish, I am really sorry that you did all of this shopping because I already did all the shopping we need for the next two weeks, two to three weeks. <laughs> look, come here, look, look. This will get us at least to, <laughs> this will get us at least to Louisville. They'll get you to the hospital. <laughs> Bill ended up getting one of these, and I haven't had a lot of luck with, with one of these, but this one's, this one looks pretty nice. It's got a cinch on here, and it's got a cinch down there. Look at that right here. So I'm kind of, kind of jealous. I kind of wish I would got one. So anyway, we'll see how it is, and if it looks good, I'll link to it because, um, I kind of wish our bikes were covered right now. It's so painful to just pick these up from the bike shop and have everything perfectly clean, ready to go. And then to go drive two hours in the rain, sitting on the back of the Airstream, it's just painful. <laughs> you know, yeah. I got it. That's part of the staff. We'll see you guys in the Bye. I don't know if you guys can <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> I'm not going 
going to be a passenger, but I'm going to give it a whirl. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. Charlie, you made it just smell terrible. <laughs> it terrible. Smells so bad. That's ridiculous. All right, we're going oh. to Four Winds Casino in New Buffalo. Okay. I'll put it right there. Hello. Hey, where do you think we should park, Marcus? All of these spots are for RVs and semi-trucks, so maybe just yeah. where... You, I would yeah. stay down here. So let's stay down here so we don't have to hear any uh, semi-truck semi generators. Oh, Hello. my nice. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. How was the drive down? It was great. Just a little bit windy, but... Yeah. It was better than I Yeah, I saw it. I saw you kind of yeah. swerve a couple times. <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to being a passenger. <laughs> How did Which it go? Are, it went really well. Uh, it was really windy and she's um, you know, she's I'm not really good at being a passenger. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's great. What are these called? Friends? Buddy sites? sites. Buddy sites. All right. I'm looking for I'm looking for Miss Cooper's meatballs. Oh, meatballs. Okay. Yeah, yeah me Bill's, too. Bill's already like, I'm so hungry. I gotta fill up too. Oh, you gotta fill up? On food? Yeah, because tomorrow we gotta ride. We're riding tomorrow? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna come in there, and then we're gonna come into here. So look at this, Bill. Oh, man. Look at We're gonna be on this It's path. a nine mile. Oh, it's just a nine mile path? Path. Look at that. It goes right, I think right around, along. Oh. Well, I'm glad we're meeting you for lunch before then, because that was my biggest concern. If we get on bike paths where we're not going to have an RV, we'll not, we yeah. won't see you. That's why I thought it was far enough that it's time for lunch. It'll probably be three and a half Perfect. hours. And then. I'm kind right. of thinking this is an every night thing, because if tomorrow. you can't, if we can't get to you, then you could yeah. go into town Perfect. and get lunch. Oh, that's going right. to be awesome. We'll have your PB&J right there for you. Boom. <laughs> Time to get up. No. Come on. <laughs> Time to get up. I made it nice and warm in here for you, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna start making breakfast. Yep. Here's the little, these are for your jerseys. Okay. Getting dressed for day one is kind of exciting. I, I'm just kind of curious as to what getting dressed tomorrow is gonna feel like. I think it would be kind of interesting because a lot of people have asked, do you think you're going to lose any weight on this ride? Um, I, and I don't really know. So Wendy has a scale. I have it in here. I'm going to weigh in the morning before I put like everything on. I'm just going to like put shorts and a shirt on. And, um, and we're going to track. We're going to see because we think we're going to be burning about 4,000 calories a day. I, even if I can't eat that, there'll probably be a deficit. So let's check it out. So right now, Day one, it's a cold scale. It's a cold. 179.2. 179. That's day one. Everything's seasoning. <laughs> Ready to ride? I am. What do you got? What, do you, what is all this? This is a jacket. You're riding in that? Wait, 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 this like is this. a pain to look at my face. Oh, that's my cereal. That's my cereal. Wait. I can't feel my face. Are you wearing those <laughs> pants? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to wear. You wearing that today? I'm wearing not this. I'm wearing the pants. Oh. And I'm wearing this jacket inside of here. Are those pants over something? They're like gonna cycling? Be, they're going to be over my cycling shorts. Did you get a picture of yourself? I wouldn't put that on KYD. <laughs> I'm, in here. I'm cold in here. I want you to just remember what it's going to feel like to dip your front tire in the Gulf of Mexico by. Mom, that's not happening. It's all Florida. Oaks. Oh you my gosh. You guys want to Look at that water out there. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
I want to get out. <laughs> I don't want to go. All right, baby, come on. You're good to me. You're good to me. How's it feel, Wendy? Are you, are you happy you're in the rig? <laughs> okay, pictures. I'm so cold. Okay. I'm so cold. Okay. I'm put a back tire on that. All right, the back tire is in. Does a rock get any prettier? I don't think it can. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. Dude, it's the quickest pace. We got a little hail or snow pellets hitting the jacket. It's a pretty bad tail or headwind. Only for another half mile and we turn left. I can't talk. <laughs> it's so cold that my jaw is literally like cramping up. It's so, my lips are, I just, I can't talk. My feet are so cold. I feel like they're just two blocks of wood connected to pedals. Anyway, we're at 36 miles right now. Lunch is at 55 and I'm really excited to get warmed up. Yeah, my toes are so cold. I think there's something really awesome about suffering. This is good? Yeah. I need a little help in this manner. <laughs> I don't think so. Look at this. You want me to back up? We're on? literally on the bike path. <laughs> they're gonna pull up right around here and they're gonna see our little rigs and they'll be like, yes. Yes. There's warmth and food. Oh, and the spot is right there. That's where we're at. And they're almost here. Yay! <laughs> I wonder how Yay! they're gonna do. They're gonna be we so got a hot chocolate ready for them and look at this. We got lunch. lunch. Wendy over there has like protein hot chocolate. Yeah, hot chocolate, they won't even know what hit them. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. That's it. If it looks like an Airstream, it smells like an Airstream. Right here, right here, guys. Take off my shoes. Wow. Here. The food situation, we are just so incredibly lucky. I can speak for Bill. I know I'm incredibly grateful for Trish and Wendy for taking care of us like this, which is making it so much more enjoyable. I don't think that how cold it is, is coming through. <laughs> okay? This chill is not just affecting the Midwest. This cold snap is stretching all the way to Florida. Overnight, fall quickly turning to winter in the Midwest. Is any part of this painful given that we're like mid-October? Uh, it's going to be a long winter. An early season storm dumping more than a foot of snow in northern Wisconsin and Michigan and making for a treacherous drive in Indiana. like 20 times. I'm not straight, I'm barely level, but I didn't hit a tree. So anybody who's never backed up or has a phobia of backing up, because it's not just a fear, it's a phobia. It's real, okay? It's so scary. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I gotta get my shinizzle together. Progress, practice makes progress. So um, anyway, I rely on Mark for all of this. 
and he's not here. And here I am, backing it in 20 times in front of my BFF. This is so bad, and the reason I'm sharing this is because I want other people who have never backed in a rig to just know that I'm with you. <laughs> because it's so bad. I don't even know how I'm gonna get out of this. I think that I should leave this just so that Mark can see this and laugh at the end of the day. Yeah. And then twist. Nice. <laughs> the power is on. <laughs> Woo! You did it before the snow. Yes, yeah, so it snowed a little on us. Did it? Hold on, Charlie. Day one is done. Day one is done. Yeah. There's Bill! Woo! Bill! Hello, Charlie! Hi, Gail! Oh, hi! That was great. That's 90 miles. 90? 90? 90 mile day. 90? 90. Yeah. How do you know when you're not level? <laughs> Your salami rolls Your away. Your salami starts rolling away! <laughs> I did the best I could! <laughs> did the best I could. Look at how fun this is! I was expecting salmon. Well, not yet, because these guys need some time. Mm. This is not hot enough. To not hot enough for you? Nope. I need the. I think I need the big. The tank. big five-gallon propane tank. It's not working. Look at. I've had this on for a long time. Ah. This is not working, and I don't like it. Uh oh. Yeah, Dad, let's grab it real quick. Severe weather alert. Right where we're at, Rochester, Indiana. Look at this. First accumulating snow of the season tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't, not to change the subject, but you're actually speaking more coherently than you were today on a trip. <laughs> <laughs> it, the, the, the wind side of his face was numb. He starts talking, he's just like, he's mumbling. It's like, he's not, he's not articulating his words. I can't, I, I, I didn't have any ability to, to, move, to your muscles. move my mouth. You move the to muscle form the face. word. That's so <sighs> All right, are you guys ready for euchre? Yeah. 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 I don't think you're ready for euchre. Oh! <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. That'll do it. You <laughs> just be after everybody. <laughs> this is a fun game. You have to. Yeah, because you're winning. <laughs> The ability to follow suit on that first one. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh! Boom! That's two points for them. You're right! You're right, this is fun. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't have that on camera. He just, just turned it off. He's going to delete, delete that last file. We know. I didn't have delete, it. Delete, delete, delete. Oh, yeah. I, had, I had the hand retrition I won. <laughs> I had the other hand retrition I won. <laughs> Your hand retrition. For won. some reason. It's gone. It's gone. The winner of the Euchre tournament. Much like the Tour de France, the winner of the Euchre Tournament yes. gets to wear the prestigious bicycle jersey. Wow! Wow! Oh, I huh? love it! That's like a card. It's like a card. But yeah, so you are in possession of the Euchre winning tournament Aww. jersey. Right, and I can wear this, and I'm okay. going to stink it up, and then, <laughs> and then I'm going to lose next time, and you'll have to wear it. Because the only thing worse than wearing this jersey is wearing this jersey smelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Somebody else's stink too. <laughs> That's so nice. Well, I didn't think that through. Actually, Aww. I should have got two of these things. <laughs> so oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that is the prize. All right. Boy, this shuttle service is nice. Like it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Just a little bit of frost. One of the reasons that we really liked the idea of the van for one of the groups is so that we could, it was nimble. We could use it as a shuttle. So yesterday we came in off of the US 35 South and then we skirted about six tenths of a mile over here. And now instead of riding back on a gravel road, that Wendy's able to use the van to take us right back to where we stopped. So kind of convenient. And this might be the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in in my life. Really? Totally yeah. serious. Wow. It is so comfortable. It's un when this thing's all flattened out, you see a little egg crate on it. I'm telling you, I hibernate like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So you had a good night's sleep last night? I had more than, I had a night and a half sleep. Last wow, night. really? Um, right here? Yeah, right here. I'm gonna go in here and back up. So I'm going on, oh, this bike's moving. 
It's day two, and surprisingly, we're all feeling pretty good. It's still crazy cold, and we got out a little later than we thought, but uh, we're ready to go, and we're ready to put in another full day of riding. Now, Caleb brings out this portable JBL speaker that he's gonna hook up to his phone. And at first, I'm reluctant to this because, uh, frankly, I don't wanna hear music. I just wanna get in my zone, put in the miles, and I wanna just get it done. But you know, leave it to Caleb. He's got a pretty good playlist, but maybe, he was maybe a little excessive on the Christmas songs. <laughs> if I hear police now one more time, I think I might just drive left and go to that fence. <laughs> Absolutely mind-blowing. Cannot believe how great of a job they've done making this bike path. Look at what I'm looking at. Or you can tell it's cold because I'm having a hard time talking while riding the bike. But let me tell you something. This is this is day two. And as far as we know. This is how the whole route is gonna be. This amazing rails to trails bike path. <laughs> and boy, were we wrong. But I do wanna just a special mention to the Nickel Plate Trail, because this is a 44 mile stretch from Rochester, Indiana, down to Kokomo, that goes right down through Peru. And it was, it was a dream. I mean, it was so smooth and it was beautiful. Of course, we were here at the perfect time of year and the trees and, and everything was just great. But then the, just the cherry on top was when we actually decided to get warm and head into a restaurant, a pancake house in Peru, Indiana. All right, Derek. Gabriel's. Pancake house? Operation Get Warm. Here we go. Yeah, I'll do whatever you want, man. But remember, they're gonna have a great lunch for us. Yeah, and, and, and only 20 more miles, 25 more miles. Let's split an omelet, just because it looks so bad. Well, yeah, there's a little, you got Oh my gosh. No, no, it's fine. Oh. Hey, would you like any jelly? Yeah, I, I love just I ordered nice coffee, but Bill doesn't yeah. drink Hi, coffee. Just to let you know, somehow we're still don't friends. Hurry, okay? But then, um, then Caleb well, ordered hot chocolate. We're, um, and then, we're, mm. well, we ordered all this hot chocolate with whipped cream, and of course, he's got all special requests with the chocolate drizzle, side. Chocolate drizzle, drizzle on top. And <laughs> Do you have sprinkles by chance? I don't, but I can drizzle some chocolate on the top. <gasps> yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah? That'd be great. Okay. All right. All right. And, then, and we're sitting there eating, and then he tried to get the check, and she said, no. Somebody wants to welcome you to, you to Peru, Indiana, and they picked up our entire tab and they wouldn't let us pay. And they're the nicest people you could possibly meet. And that was one of the biggest reasons why I was so excited about this trip, is just the people we meet across this country. And I'm not even being exaggerating. There's, there's so many good people in this country. Yeah. And the food was great. Yeah. The egg omelet was phenomenal. Oh, nice. Corn is like you know juicy and tender. Yeah. Field corn you pick when it's hard. It's in the ear and it's hard, and they have to. And in fact, when you go by the big grain elevators and you hear those big engines running, those engines are doing is they're drying the corn. They have to get to a certain moisture level, certain moisture content. They yeah. have to dry it. If it has any moisture in it, it'll mold, right? Okay. You get it dry, so it won't mold. But if you're the field corn, is you can tell when it's ready to pick because it's. See, it's dry. Oh yeah, it's dry. It's totally dry. Yeah, it looks. It looks like you left it on the counter for two weeks. Right. See, this is not. People get confused between this and uh, sweet corn. Yeah. This. You know, you pick it when it's dry. This is time of year to pick it right now. Oh, don't oh do that's that. not it. You're gonna break your tooth, dude. That's more candy hey, corn. Hey, so what do you do with field corn? Well, they they send it to like cereal companies. They make they make corn flour oh. out of it. And they make cereal out of it. Like that. Whoa. That's my souvenir. And it's like popcorn. Grab one of those. Oh See? my gosh! It's gonna, it's, it, that's it's harder than a corn nut. It is, yeah. But Woo! what they'll do is when they dry this, they'll leave it be more brittle. They'll get it to a certain moisture content. We're two streets away. Check this out. There they are. We're tracking them. They're coming down here. This is where we are. Oh, they just moved. 
They've already gone 50 miles, three and a half hours, but there was a stop, there was a break in there. Um, so anyway, let's go check it out. It's snowing. Oh, it's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> this is not cool. The I mean, it's it's really cool, but they're riding their bikes in the snow. <laughs> Never underestimate a good tailwind. That's today's lesson. you found a parking spot in this church. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. Charlie, Hello. you're here. Hello, Charlie boy. You're Hi. here. Hi. Charlie. Charlie. In Arizona, Nutella yeah. is wonderful because you just put it on a spoon and it <laughs> And here? It's like fudge. It's like a piece of fudge. <laughs> it's crazy. so frozen. That is crazy. So anyway, so you guys will have to do what Ooh, you... Ooh, what is that? That looks yummy. Well, I've made it a salty version because mm. I thought you guys needed a little Ooh, more salt. Oh, I like that. Pickles and um, oh, banana that's great. peppers. <laughs> Look at Charlie. He's like, turn that thing off. He's like, I don't know what they're doing, Mom. It's a good ride out there. A little chilly. Those are uh, toesicles. Toesicles. They're crossing the toesicles. It feels really good to stop and have lunch. But it's amazing how our body heat keeps us warm because after lunch, we get back on the bike. I start shivering. Are you shivering? No. <laughs> well, he's got that gator on. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get one of those. But I think what really needs to happen is we just gotta get to Louisville. Because I'm not making this up. I mean, I gotta, I gotta go. Kale's playing John Denver over here. He's playing Christmas music earlier. It's just so cold. It really is so cold. I think there's something really awesome about suffering. Join us next week for part two, when the wheels come off. I just hit Bill. <laughs> we take a rest day on the Bourbon Trail and enjoy some fancy drinks. Find out who will win the prestigious Euchre Bicycle Jersey. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Go, Martin. Hold it up. Show them what you got. Yes, we and this is what you've won. <laughs> and the boys have their fair share of dog encounters. Hey, hey, hey. See, there's a nice dog.